Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hot Take. Today we're in what I like to call a Michigan special. It's one of our specialties here. A 2007 white Ford F-150 pickup truck. And today with me, I have my cameraman, Akul. How's it going, everyone? He's going to help us film this video today. I'm going to read off the window sticker here, which we actually have to list off the options. 373 ratio, limited slip axle. The thumbnail of this video might say... uh Rear wheel drive, V8, V8 373 go. LSD. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we might we might have clickbaited you, I'm not sure yet. Uh, other notable options, we have electronic uh, pedal adjustment, which yes, is sir. something I've never seen in my entire life. So you can heel toe even better. <laughs> yes, in this truck. Uh, skid plates, tow package, an automatic rear view mirror, which we're not really sure how it works. And this truck has, according to this sticker, 253,747 miles. Odometer says 122. Um, we're not sure. We're going to ask the owner about it later. I'll throw it in the description for you guys. But I think that we should hop on the road. Let's do it. Give this truck a drive. Yes, sir. It's about yeah, maybe half throttle. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. So uh, I don't know if I said this already. No, I did. Yeah, so it's a 2007 F-150 pickup truck. This does have the 5.4 Triton motor in it, which is the, the one from hell. The one that uh, everyone talks about having reliability issues. Although I will say, so I, uh, the Car Wizard made a really good series talking about that motor. And I think that if you keep on top of your oil changes, there's they don't really have any problems. But maybe someone in the comments can attest to that. This one says it's 122,000 miles, but maybe has over 300K, we'll ask the owner. But overall, it's not in that bad of shape, other than it being kind of rusty, but it's a Michigan car, you kind of get that. So my initial impressions are that this truck rides pretty well, uh, especially for a truck. It does have kind of that like rear end, almost like, I want to say clappy feeling, whereas you're going over bumps or, I don't even know what you call this on the road. <laughs> you kind of feel the, it's really stiff. Like it almost feels like you're just kind of bouncing that would be the best way i describe it but the front end feels fairly fairly supple and it doesn't feel necessarily poor riding especially by truck standards i've rode in newer trucks that ride worse than this thing does and it does have a bit of body roll as to be expected from a truck i don't have a lot of experience in with trucks in regards to performance driving so this will be a little bit of a new experience for me kind of taking some turns up here it has a bit of body roll but it's not too bad i mean that was at about 50 miles an hour the cool has a lot more experience and ford well trucks in general but you worked at a ford dealer for a while i did i did what would you guys uh think of these trucks so the three valve is kind of infamous um you really want to stay away from these things They're, we kind of avoid them like hellfire um they are not I think their biggest fault is they go way too long between service intervals. I mean, I've seen trucks come through uh, for 10,000 miles service intervals, and I forget what these call for, but um, any 5.4 liter owners out there will probably swear by 3,000 or 5,000 mile oil changes, which is what you should be doing. Um, right. As far as this truck's handling goes, this is fantastic. I mean, uh, as someone who's worked at... Um, at uh, dealerships that service pickup trucks quite regularly regularly for years. This thing corners really well. It's minimal body roll for a truck. Um, even though there's no weight in the bed, we're not seeing too much skipping from the rear end. Um, Silverado owners know what I'm talking about. That rear end tends to break loose quite a bit over rough pavement. This is not having any of those uh, issues. So um, good mark for Ford in terms of how well this truck is held up and how well you can throw it to corners. I mean, we're going pretty hard into this corner. We're going about 55 miles an hour. This thing's taking it like a champ with no weight in the back, so I, I'm impressed. Yeah, exactly. Everything that Cool just said. No, it's um, it feels a lot more planted than I was expecting from a truck. And I think that's a big misconception that I I've been a little guilty of, and a lot of people are, is that trucks handle badly. It's a truck, so it does handle like a truck. But I think that trucks don't necessarily handle really particularly badly. They just have a lot of body roll. And you have to be kind of aware of that. I think what helps this truck a lot is there's a lot of tire there. I would think makes a big difference. But over these turns, the steering is pretty vague. I mean, 
the 2007 Ford F-150. We're, I mean, who are we, who are we kidding here? But overall, I'm not, I'm not necessarily disappointed by the truck. The brakes are pretty mushy. I don't know. This has a four-speed automatic with overdrive, so a five-speed automatic <laughs> with a really long fifth gear, and it's it's fine for around town driving. We haven't really matted it yet, but even in what we're doing now, it doesn't really seem to be holding the car back that much because a lot of this car's torque is down low. So sitting at like two to 3,000 RPM or even like right now, 1,600, is not really that big of a deal. Bit of a tighter one. Yeah, it in this. There you go. I feel like a rally driver. I think a good way to sum up what Sonny just said would be this is a terrible performance vehicle, but an excellent pickup truck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a fair assessment so far. Yeah. I, the ride is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought this car was going to ride like garbage. No, I agree. Uh, but it's not that bad. It does not ride like it has, it rides like it maybe has 60,000 miles on it. I mean, it's very comfortable. Um, yeah. You know, I've spent a lot of time in pickup trucks and I've felt a lot of terrible pickup trucks like you mentioned. I've been in newer trucks that ride way worse than this thing. Um, so the, yeah, this thing is fantastic. I mean, this is kind of best case scenario for a 2007 Ford F-150. <laughs> yeah, he's turning. Here we go. Yeah, what kind of joke? Are we making like hooker jokes? <laughs> That's foot to the floor. Oh man, all that power. Keep stay in the power band, baby. Where is it, Chip? <laughs> There's the the long the long the long gearing. Get on the brakes a little bit here. That's that's all she's got, <laughs> which is honestly not that bad. So, as far as an enthusiast goes, do you think someone could have fun with this truck as an automotive enthusiast? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure you could have fun with this truck as an automotive enthusiast. I'm having fun as an automotive enthusiast. I like all cars. All cars, well, I, I would say they're created equally, but they're not. But it's not a bad thing, they're not created equally. Not every car has to be a sports car. Even a truck like this on some of these back roads can be a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know why, this is funny. I mean, it's, it's rusty, the badges are faded off. I mean, look at the Ford badge right here. The, the coloring's gone, it just says Ford. But I'm actually surprised the Ford is etched into here and not just lettering, so at least it still says Ford. Uh, <laughs> but, but you love it, is what you're trying to say, because this, yeah. is, this is something that you can put in a parking lot next to a bunch of other cars, not worry about getting dinged. Yeah. You never have to wash it because there's no there's no paint left to wash. It's it's fantastic. I mean, no metal left. I I'm a firm believer that everybody should own a truck like this at some point in their life because everybody needs that that beater that they can take out into the dirt road and not worry about. And this is that truck. Yeah, I would say that's a that's a good assessment. Honestly, these it handles these really good. I'm probably taking this a little quicker than even a lot of other cars because it just kind of glides over a lot of this. I think it's pretty good. I think this is one of those trucks, the more time you spend in it, the more you feel like you're in a car. Because in the time we've been driving already, I've already forgotten that I'm in a pickup truck because this is so car-like. I actually, that's a good point. I've been, I, I'm not, when I first hopped in this truck, I was a little like, I was like, I wasn't sure where the front end was. I wasn't sure. And I was a little nervous. It's like, it's a truck, it's really big. But now that I'm kind of driving it, I'm a lot more confident in my ability to drive this truck uh, quickly and just to drive it in general. Like I don't feel, I don't say feel bad about it, but I'm very comfortable in this truck. Man, it puts you back in your seat, doesn't it? <laughs> and, you know, I, I think a lot of new cars are they tune the suspension a lot stiffer, but it doesn't, I don't I want to say stiffer, but I want to say the, it feels like they have the shock stiffer and, or the shock softer and the spring stiffer, whereas this feels like it just kind of has soft springs. It's kind of really like floaty. A lot, I, new cars feel a lot tighter. That's the, that's the way to word it. New cars feel a lot tighter. It doesn't feel as tight, but this is a lot more comfortable and I don't feel any really less confident in this truck than I would in, a new car. <laughs> I 
It's not. It's not fast. It's not. Fast. It's not slow though. Yeah, it's a, it's better than I would have expected. It's a it's a it's a this is good. I kind of like the four the four speed auto gearing, the really long gearing. I think it adds a little bit of character. To it. I agree. It's 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 very old school muscle car highway gearing. It sounds like it too. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I, for a tr for a truck from two thousand seven with this much mass, that it moves. I mean, that is. Yeah. I feel like I feel like you don't you don't feel like you don't have enough power. No, not at all. Which is a good mark for this, this 5.4 liter. 2007 Ford F-150, the official car of... I, I just had, I've just had six drinks, I can make it home. The 2007 Ford F-150, the official car of... I can fit my sister, my mom, my cousin, and my uncle in the back. 2007 Ford F-150, the local trash can in, pu in public parking lots. 2007 Ford F-150, I drive this through my living room instead of parking it in my driveway every time I get home. 2007 Ford F-150. This probably won't exist in like five years. <laughs> 2007 Ford F-150. First owner, businessman, farmer. Last owner, high school kid. The 5.4 three-valve Triton. The official motor of... Oh, it's fine. Just change the oil enough and it'll be fine. 2007 Ford F-150. Motor Trends Car of the Year Never. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. <laughs> that's cruel. <laughs> 2007 Ford F-150, America's best-selling vehicle because we're blind. <laughs> We've now taken this 2007 Ford F-150 out for a thorough test drive. Cracked some jokes, had some fun. My honest opinion, um, it's a truck. Um, it's a truck. <laughs> it is a truck. It's a truck. I actually will say it exceeded my expectations in a lot of areas. I had very, very low expectations coming into this. Um, I'll be honest, the owner literally just wanted this car to get driven. This is going to be probably the official low benchmark score of hot take. We couldn't let a manual Crown Victoria be the low score because that thing, that is just cool. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm not to bash this truck, but I mean, like, you know, that it's a manual Crown Victoria. You can't have that be the lowest score. Oh, right? I totally agreed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll score it now. All jokes aside, this truck is pretty standard. We will start with the utility category. It has a large tow capacity, a large bed, four-wheel drive, and four doors, making it quite useful for everyday use. But it does get hurt quite a bit by the ride quality and maneuverability, giving it a 6 out of 10. Features are sparse, but it does have a few cool things, like the adjustable pedals, electronic mirror, and the four-wheel drive we just spoke of. But materials are lacking, and it feels pretty industrial, giving it a 3 out of 10. With an average MPG of 16 combined, that gives us a 3 out of 10 for the gas mileage category, bringing our daily score to 11 out of 30. For the weekend category, we will start with the cool factor. This car gets a preliminary 1, but if we find out later it had over 300,000 miles, we'll bump it up to 2, because, I mean, that's pretty cool. Driver's feedback is a 1.5 out of 10. The pedals are mushy, the steering is loose, and has a lot of body roll. It's pretty close to as bad as it gets. Honestly, it would have gotten a one, but you do get a sense of the drivetrain being there and you feel more connected than I was expecting. Acceleration gets a one out of 10. Totaling up our weekend score to three and a half out of 30. Should you buy it? I would say it's dependent, but most people shouldn't due to the aforementioned three valve engine that likes to blow up. But if you get it cheap enough and plan to replace the engine or ready to stay on top of your oil changes, assuming that you bought one with a motor that isn't already sludged up, there's nothing really wrong with it. I'll give it a 6 out of 15, putting it here on our list. I did remain objective in this review, but as expected, it scored the lowest. There wasn't necessarily anything wrong with this truck, but at the end of the day, it was just an average Michigan truck with all the character that goes along with it. It will haul what you need it to and probably not complain. It was built for a purpose, and it carries that out well. What's that ticking sound? <laughs>